Bet365 is an A-rated book on SBR. Click on their logo to discover why. Hello and welcome to World Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Natalie Rydstrom. Joining us now is Richard O'Hagan, sports writer and regular contributor to SBR Forum, to discuss the betting value for the individual World Cup teams. Richard, welcome to the show today. Hi, Natalie. It's great to be with you. Now, Greece has been gifted a dream draw in Group C, as it's the best way they could have hoped for. If history is any indication, their work is still cut out for them. Uh, this is a team that has struggled in the final stage. Now, does this team have the skill to make it through the group stage, do you think? I think just because of their draw, Natalie, that they do have a real chance here. If you wanted to be drawn in any group in this World Cup, if you're a team that's not perhaps the strongest at this stage of a the competition, then Group C is an absolute dream for you. So, yeah, certainly Greece can progress through from this group without too many worries, provided they play to the sort of form they showed in qualifying. OK, well, if Greece does advance, their odds drop quite a bit in the last 16. A last 16 exit is priced at 3.75. Now, hypothetically, would they be in better shape at this stage? I think so, because first of all, they'll have knocked a little bit of the rust off. They've had a couple of good games. They're going to have to play well, obviously, to get through out of here. You know, teams like the Ivory Coast are not going to be a pushover. Japan aren't going to be a pushover. But any team coming out of Group C has a real chance because they're up against Group D opponents. And I think Group D opponents, because that is the toughest of all the groups, going to be a little bit weary, possibly lost one or two key players to injury by that stage. So I would always back a Group C team in, in the uh, second round, the round of 16. So, yep, definitely back Greece at that point. In light of their form issues, who do you expect to step it up and perhaps come through as the top goal scorer? Well, I think you've got two options here, Natalie. Uh, Kostantinos Mitroglou, who is there, was a top goal scorer in qualifying. He looks like a decent bet here, but like all the top guys from qualifying, he's going to be very heavily marked in this competition. My tip here is to go for someone like Giorgio Samras, uh, who's got a lot of experience playing all across Europe, including with Celtic in Scotland. Played well, for example, in uh, things like the Europa League, played played well in lots of different places, lots of different positions as well. And I think he could be a really good bet. And he's around about nines at the moment. So I would be looking to back him. OK. Well, what would you say is the best overall bet to make on Greece in World Cup 2014? It's a difficult one, Natalie, because there's so many options. One of the, the pluses of Group C is it gives you um, a lot of uh, uncertainty because all the teams are so close. But it also gives you a lot of difficulty in finding a really good bet and if you don't like what I've just said about Samaras and Mitroglou, then your next best bet has got to be to back no overall goal scorer for Greece. That's available currently at around about 13s. And one of the things you've got to bear, about, bear in mind about Greece, they've been to the finals twice, they've won one game, and they failed to score in the other five. So no overall goal, goal scorer, I think, is probably your best other bet here. All right, wonderful, Richard. That about wraps things up for our team preview. Thank you for joining us today. You're welcome.